Hey, what is shaking? We are hanging out today in Hollywood. Um, we're driving down Hollywood Boulevard and um, we're about to pass Man's Chinese Theater. Look at this, here's a sightseeing Hollywood tour bus where they're uh, peering at celebrity homes, invading their privacy. Oh yeah. Um, but hey, that's what they, you know what? When you, with the celebrity and the fame, uh, be careful what you wish for, right? So what I wanted to talk about today, I wanted to talk about the growth mindset. And this is really the attitude you wanna have. This is how you wanna be all the time. You never know it all. You're never fully at the top. There's always gonna be people who are better than you, smarter than you, more creative than you, can draw better than you, tell stories better than you. And um, there's always more to learn. There's always more to evolve. And you really want to have that mindset. You want to be like George Lucas. Speaking of George Lucas, look at this. Here's, it used to be Man's Chinese Theater. Uh, now it's, I forget, Lowe's Chinese Theater, I think is what it is. Oh, it's T TCL uh, Chinese Theater. That's where Star Wars premiered way back in the day. So uh, anyway... Um, the growth mindset. So I wanna share a story with you that I think you will quickly see why it's so important. So I wanna tell you about the time I was working on a film you may have heard of called The Matrix. So I'll never forget my agent uh, called me one day knowing full well that I was into Star Wars and I had worked on a bunch of Star Wars projects and my agent said, listen, I have a script for you. I want you to read it. I want you to start working on this on this movie next week. This movie is going to be the next Star Wars. It's going to be Star Wars for the next generation. And I was like, really? Oh, my gosh. Tell me more. Well, at the time, uh, The Matrix was supposed to star Tom Cruise. And I was kind of excited about that because, you know, Tom Cruise always brings his A game to everything he does. So I was like, man, this sounds great. It's going to be amazing. The next Star Wars cannot wait. So that weekend uh, I got the script and I started reading through the script and I was like, man, where are the robots? Where are the, you know, where's the villain that breathes with this crazy apparatus and where are all the starships and stuff? The script I found really boring and it was really, I didn't like it at all. Now keep in mind, you might be like The Matrix, it's awesome. Well, you've seen the film, you've seen what it looks like, you've seen the slow motion bullets and, and you know, Trinity leaping in the air with the camera moving around. If you hadn't seen that, imagine just the story on paper, how much would it have moved you? Well, maybe it would, maybe it wouldn't. For me, it didn't. Now, part of my problem was I didn't have the growth mindset. I was looking for Star Wars, something I already knew. I didn't have my mind open to how cool it could have been. So, uh, I thought it was horrible. I mean, there was things like, man, there was one part where Neo like jumps off a building. When he hits the ground, he stretches through the pavement, through the concrete and then bounces right back up, like what? Like it doesn't even make sense, right? That's like the stupidest thing ever. So I worked on this film for about a week and I was supposed to work on it longer. I did uh, some of the cool artwork for the post-apocalyptic scenes, thank goodness, because there were some cool robot drones and some things in there that, uh, that we were designing. But for the most part, I thought the story was awful. I just did not see the potential at all and I remember I was talking to a lot of the other artists and they seemed fired up like they were really into it and I would ask them have you read the script and they were like oh yeah it's good right and I was like what script did they read because man I thought it was crap with a capital K so um, about after a, a week or so I remember my agent called and said listen don't bother going in on Monday the whole production is shut down because Tom Cruise is working on another movie instead called Eyes Wide Shut. And I was like, thank goodness, because oh my gosh, this movie was crap. So glad I'm not working on that anymore. Few months went by and my agent called me again 
and said, hey, guess what? The Matrix is back on. But now instead of, instead of Tom Cruise, it's Keanu Reeves. Now at the time, Keanu Reeves was not the name. I mean, he was a name, but he wasn't, uh, it wasn't really positive like it is now. Keanu Reeves was kind of the whoa dude from Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. And he was kind of the same character in Parenthood. Um, he was in the Point Break movie, but most of his movies were flops. In fact, there was a sci-fi movie that had just come out called Johnny Mnemonic, and it was awful, not very good. So I was like, oh my gosh, man, I thought this movie was crap before. Now it's really going to be crap because it's starring Keanu Reeves. And my agent said, listen, it's nine months worth of work if you want to work on this movie, The Matrix. And I was like, my gosh, can you just give me a day to think about it? So it's like, man, what am I gonna do? True story, later that afternoon, another one of my agents called me and said, hey, we got this movie we want you to work on. I was like, all right, tell me more. They said, this movie is called The Devil's Own. And I was like, oh, The Devil's Own. Man, that sounds interesting. Uh, again, tell me more about it. And they said, well, this film stars Harrison Ford and Brad Pitt. I said, what? Harrison Ford and Brad Pitt. Okay, tell me no more. It's called The Devil's Own. I am in. Yes. So I had to call back my other agent and I said, listen, you can take The Matrix and you can, you know, you can stick it where the sun don't shine. I'm working on a movie called The Devil's Own, right? Click. Well, I don't know if you've seen uh, a movie called The Matrix, but it's amazing. And I don't know if you've seen a movie called The Devil's Own, but it's awful right <laughs> oh my gosh so here's the thing here's what i learned from it when i was working on the matrix when i was presented with reading the script i didn't have the growth mindset i had the fixed mindset i had my mind made up i was looking at it like this it's nothing like star wars therefore i don't like it right this is crap. The only sci-fi that's cool is if it's in another galaxy and if there's starships and robots and all this and that. And I just didn't have my mind open to different things. So shame on me, right? Uh, the Matrix, obviously very incredible. So, and all the other artists that were excited about it, obviously they took it in. Instead of seeing all the things not to like, they saw all the things to like and they were like man it's really cool so even if you have something maybe you read it and you still uh you have the growth mindset but maybe you still don't think it's very good okay guess what it's your job now as a creative how are you gonna make this amazing that's your job that's what you're getting paid for so if you're working in advertising and you uh let's say you have to work on i don't know let's say toilet paper right charmin and You've got to create like ideas for a commercial. Okay, wow, that doesn't sound very thrilling, but you know what? That's the challenge. Make this the greatest, maybe funny, maybe it's hilarious. What can you do? So like, oh my gosh, this commercial is going to be so good. It's going to be played during the Super Bowl and everyone is just going to love it. That is your mission. Have the growth mindset. Are you in it to win it? All right, growth mindset, uh, keep evolving, keep growing. The glass is always half full. I'll check in with you guys next week, new video. Thank you guys. If you haven't already, like, subscribe, all the things, smash the buttons, leave some comments down below. Let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see next. And James and I will chat at you later. See ya. Ah!